क्लास एट साइंस सो दिस इज यूर फर्स्ट सेशन ऑफ साइंस टूडेज चैप्टर इज फ्रॉम बायोलॉजी पार्ट थ्री एन के टू एग्जाम सिलेबस इज फर्स्ट चैप्टर दैट इज द बायोलॉजी इज फर्स्ट चैप्टर ऑफ योर थ्री टू सिलेबस सो द चैप्टर नेम इज कॉन्जर्वेशन ऑफ प्लांट्स एंड एनिमल्स प्लीज ओपन द पेज नंबर वन हंड्रेड थ्री ओके so in class seven you will have learned that there is a diverse variety of some plants animals and microorganisms diverse variety means if we look on the outside or we can we look on look at the environment we can see the different type of plants different type of animals are present but not only different type of plants and animals there are different type of microorganisms also present in uh, second chapter in biology you have learned that the microorganism is foe or friend so microorganism is also present in the environment so in the place in which place the plant animal microorganism they live together that is known as biodiversity so suppose this is a one place in this place different type of animal plants microorganism are present so this place is known as the biodiversity bio means the presence of the plant or the living thing bio and diversity means that is the variety of animals that is present so this place is known as the biodiversity okay so in biodiversity there is some animal and plants are present so scientifically these animals and plants are called the species suppose we are human we are human so we are the human species if in a forest there is a tiger is present so the tiger is known as the tiger species if there is a mango tree is there so we cannot say as a scientific way that is a mango tree no in a scientific uh, way we have to tell that the, that is the mango tree or uh, this is species that is called a mango tree okay so the species mean a species that refers to a group of the organism that have common characters and can interbreed among themselves like human means we have the characters of the same characters human and human they have same characters dog and dog they have same characters so this group of animals they have the same characters is known as a species now what is the ecosystem ecosystem is the various community uh, communities of the living organism that is plant and animals they interact among themselves how they interact if we take oxygen from the tree so as a vice versa we have to give them carbon dioxide so we interact like this so in a this in which place this is happening that is known as the ecosystem means an ecosystem is made of all the plant animals and microorganism in a area along with the living and the non living thing that is known as the ecosystem suppose this is a place suppose this is a forest so in forest you can see the animals you can see the plants you can see the microorganism there are also different type of non living things so this is known as a ecosystem so when you came to the came to the school at the school your friends are present your teachers are present in the classroom suppose in a classroom suppose in a classroom there is a white board i am using there is a benches are there so think about that that is your ecosystem means you are also present your teacher also present the bench that is a non living thing and the white board is also non living thing so living and non living thing they both are interact they both are present in which place that is known as the ecosystem okay now ecosystem now now second how both is the habitat habitat is where you uh, stay habitat means where you stay some students you stay at bondai some students you live at pichaburi so you stay that is your habitat in in my case in my house my house is on 
mountain. So the content of my house is my habitat. So the natural environment of a plant or animal species where it lives and reproduces is called a habitat. Now the importance of the biodiversity. Importance of biodiversity means every component of biodiversity from the microorganism to huge animals like elephant they also plays a great role in the environment. In other words, biodiversity maintains the environment around us and we are also economically dependent on the forest and economically dependent on the other animals also. Okay, some oils, oil, oil seeds are there, means the mustard, garlic, brown now, sunflower. So we use them as economically functions. Now, sometimes we see that forests are destroyed. Sometimes we see the forests are destroyed, the trees have been cut. Why? If we do it in a large scale, if we cutting the scale, the tree, trees in a large scale, then what happens? Then biodiversity will be broken. Biodiversity will be hampered. So the causes loss of the biodiversity means deforestation, cutting the trees in a large scale. Okay, and the for making the building, the shopping mall, make a we are cutting down the trees, we destroy the forest. Some illegal hunting for making our house very decorative, for making our house very decorative way. So sometimes the human they kill the animal. They kill the animal means they sometimes the uh, elephant has been killed. Why? Elephant teeth is very very uh, costly, so they can. Make some shoe piece so that you can uh, use that tree as a decorative way. Illegal hunting means tigers, elephant, locusts, rhinoceros, they are under threat. Uh, Why they are under threat? Because they are hunted for their skin, fat, tusks, claw, meat, and other body parts. Hunting of animal is illegal, and the illegal hunting of wild animals for commercial uses called that poaching. Pollution, some pollution is there, pollution of soil, air, water and adversely affect the many plants and animals, pesticides and the other harmful chemicals. So in these cases there are different types of illegal cases we are doing, illegal things we are doing for that's why our biodiversity has been broken. Now next is the flora and fauna. In a forest we can see the plants and we can see the animals also. So flora means flora, flora means plant and fauna means animal. So in a forest we can see both the flora and fauna. Okay student? So uh, you just read it. Read this flora and fauna page number 106, 106. So we that in next uh, session means in part two I'll discuss in a in a brief like extinct the why they are why they have extinct why they are in danger. Okay, student. Thank you.